happening today, a chance to get the family together and check out the arts. It's Family Day at the Butler Institute of American Art, and that's where we find First News reporter Nathan LaHoda this morning. He's live to tell us all about the event and how you can attend. Good morning, Abby. Yes, I'm here at the Butler Institute of American Arts in Youngstown, and uh, today is going to be Family Day. That's going to start right around 1.30, and one of the people that's going to be helped run that activity here today is Maggie. How are you doing this morning, Maggie? I'm great, thanks. How are you? Good. Okay, so it, I told everyone this is a hands-on event, okay, because even though you can't touch any of these beautiful paintings behind us, you gotta, I had to get hands-on myself. I'm pretty sure you guys can do a little bit better than this. This is one of the activities people can do, right? Yes, so every month we have a different theme. This month, very appropriately, is themed with winter. So um, they will be able to put themselves into a winter scene, just like you have done so beautifully here. I, I think I did a pretty good job. Yeah. There's a microphone, the WK. I only had like 15 minutes to get right. this done. But, you know, people are going to have pretty much all day to do this. W what's the actual time frame for, uh, for people to get hands on here? So we're open until 4. Family day does start at 1.30, but if things kind of take a little bit longer, they have about an hour, hour and a half to do that, and then they can enjoy the museum until we close at 4. Okay, so besides paintings, scavenger hunt. Tell me a little bit about the scavenger hunt without giving too much away. Sure, sure. So they are um, using some of our winter scenes of, as you see here. Um, they look for elements of art and elements of design, which are like zigzag lines, color, and they really engage children and adults alike into a work of art. So how does a scavenger hunt, it's because you know you are a part of the learning uh, part of this uh, institute. Now yes. how does this help them learn when they do the scavenger hunt? So these are kind of tips that you can use when you're looking at any work of art in any museum. So you can kind of acknowledge color, shape, line, and it really is a good way to kind of like prepare you to look at any work of art, not just in the butler. But they, um, a lot of our clientele already know their colors and everything, but it just kind of gets them to look at it a little bit slower and more in depth. So it's fun and learning at the same time. It's possible, obviously. Yes, yeah, we sneak in the learning there. All right, so then this is obviously part of Family Day. Can you tell us the, uh, just the nuts and bolts of what Family Day is before we get out of here? Sure, so Family Day is really a good way to engage children, teenagers, and adults in art and art making process. Um, like I said, it's not just for kids. Docents are really good at engaging adults even in works of art, but it is, like you said, very hands-on for children. So there really is something for everyone to do here today. Okay, and you know what? If you, uh, if you participate and you think you can do a uh, better job than I did, I think you can. Probably most uh, elementary school kids probably could maybe better. I don't know, but if you can, make sure to hit us up on Facebook and uh, share this, share a photo or something, yeah, right? Definitely. And obviously, and you guys are also, you guys have a website just in case they have any for they want any more information maybe we didn't give them today. Sure, so you could visit us on our website. It's butlerart.org. We are also very active on Facebook, and if you have any other questions, you can always call us at the education department. Okay, and if you want to get in early, they're going to be open around noon, and uh, next time in about a half an hour when we talk to you, we're going to be wrapping it all up, telling you about everything that's happening today here at the Butler Art, the American Institute of Art. But for now, live in Youngstown, Nathan LaHoda, WKBN 27 First News.